In a few weeks, the Supreme Court will hear a challenge to race-conscious admissions policies at two universities, the latest chapter in the contentious history of affirmative action in higher education. Opinion, my race may have played a factor in my college rejections, but I support affirmative action affirmative action, U. S. companies support Harvard, UNC and Supreme Court affirmative action cases The universities say their admissions practices follow court precedents allowing race to be one of many. But since the last time the Supreme Court weighed in on an affirmative action case in 2016, when it upheld the consideration of race in admissions by the University of Texas, the court has added more conservative justices who are skeptical of the practice. The High Court is scheduled to start hearing the cases separately on October 31st. Legal experts and historians say the stakes are high for affirmative action, which was instituted to help redress a legacy of inequality. The modern meaning of the term came to be during the Kennedy administration. The phrase affirmative action appeared in a Kennedy-era executive order establishing the President's Committee on Equal Employment. The order mandated that government contractors take affirmative action to ensure that applicants are employed, and that employees are treated during employment, without regard to their race, creed, color or national origin. Habar Taylor Jr., a black lawyer, is credited with inserting the word, 